Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interests of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Hey guys, it's James with the Chart Guys. It's Monday. April 3rd, going to do my nightly video on natural gas. So natural gas, I said I'd stay bullish in natural gas as long as the 8 EMA was held as support. Um, and you could see that currently we lost it today on this daily candle. So I'm expecting a retest of this 20 EMA, which I wanted to see a back test of this. So last time we lost this 80 EMA here, we got this back test of the 20 EMA bounce and continued higher. So watching this 20 EMA, you can see all these MAs here, look at this, 20, 250 MA are all converging here on the daily. So if that's lost as support, that could be a red flag for further pullback. Um, with so many converging moving averages here, you really want to hold those moving averages as support, particularly the 20 MA here. Um, and we want to bounce and get back above the 8 EMA to negate a TCG bear cross. Uh, we got one slightly here on this, on this pullback to the 20 MA last time, but bounced and regained it and continued higher for the nat gas bulls. Um, and on the longer term charts here, why I why I left my position last week on Friday on nat gas was, I'm using the unadjusted charts because the adjusted charts for uh, May uh, don't, doesn't, doesn't have as much price history on the weekly chart as the unadjusted chart here. So the unadjusted chart goes back much further. And you can see this 200 MA here. So, Last time we, we played February, this oversold daily bounce is the reason why we, are, we were in the Nat Gas play to begin with. Um, we got up all the way to this 200 MA here and we rejected here. And currently on this bounce play on the oversold daily, that was the same setup as Friday. I'm sorry, last February, we, we rejected here on, on uh, Friday here, a close of last week. So clearly I wanna see uh, a Nat Gas weekly close above this 200 MA to continue higher. Uh, likely will not play natural gas until we close above this weekly 200 MA, which is currently at 3.23. Uh, but in the longer term, bulls right now off this bounce are still in control. Um, we need to obviously get above this 200 MA. If we are to pull back here, what we need to be aware of in longer term is a potential head and shoulders at the top of an uptrend. So we've been in this uptrend in natural gas here on the weekly. We have this left shoulder rejecting at the 200 MA, got above it. Fell right back through it on this bounce play. We're rejecting at that 200 MA again. So that'd be a red flag if we were to continue lower. Uh, the daily, we've still been holding higher, higher lows and higher highs. So we've been, we've had this low. Let me go back to the adjusted chart so there's not many gaps. So on the daily, on this oversold bounce, we've, we've kept higher lows here. Pull back here, higher low. So really what, what, Bulls want to see happen is um, the supports to watch are obviously low of today now, 3.125, then uh, 3.091, and then this low here of 3.056. Uh, Nat gas bulls don't, really don't want to break this on a pullback. If we pull back here, then the level to watch is this low here of 2.943. If we break that level, then we're going to, we're going to be setting a, a lower low uh, on the daily here on that pullback, and that could be a change of the trend. Uh, saying that the bears are still are back in control um, and we'll start looking bearish uh, depending on how the chart sets up. But again, these are the next supports to look at. The low of today, 3.125, uh, 3.091, and low of 3.056. Looking for this back test of this 20 MA here again. And right now it's still net, it's still healthy consolidation as for now. Uh, this is a bit concerning that we did have increasing bear volume uh, from these candles on this big red day. So expecting further consolidation, but until we set a lower low on the daily, 
we are still not going to look bearish. Have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow.